My biggest expectation with PBIS in the classroom is that students come engaged and are welcoming and that they are respectful of not only the teacher, but their other fellow students and themselves. That is the way you'll get the best learning in your classroom. Hi, my name is Mr. Griffin and my expectations uh, for my classroom are pretty simple. I like to keep things simple. The first thing is they need the kids need to be on time, and when they when they get to class, they they need to be uh, in their seats and, and at least appear to be ready to learn and, and be engaged. So um, I think that's an important skill, not just for school but as out of school as well. During the class, I think that uh, they should um, be quiet, listen, ask questions when they need to by raising their hand be engaged, uh, not messing around, those kind of things. As far as safe goes, they shouldn't be messing with each other or anything. Um, just paying attention and uh, learning. That's, that's why we go to school. And the last thing, um, when they're using computers and things like that, they need to be doing their work on the computers and not visiting websites and games and, and such that takes them off task. They can do those things at home. At school, we would love to have them use the computers to engage in their learning. And that's about as short as I can get it. Thanks for listening. When they come into the classroom, I'd like to see them end their conversations, go directly to their numbered seat, and then begin writing their learning target. In the classroom, same kind of thing, teaching kids, treating each other with manners and respect. In the classroom, I expect the students to be welcoming, which means respect each other, engaged and open to new learning, safe by keeping their hands to themselves, and trustworthy by respecting others' belongings. In my classroom, once you've come in, I expect you to be prepared and on time, which are some of the PBIS rules as well. And I also talk about respecting others and their work, whether they're presenting or sharing. We always want to take turns, so I say zip it, zip it good and that means listen to the other person and respect them whether it's a teacher a guest or another student uh, well my expectations for the classroom uh, mainly focus around students being prepared uh, coming to class with their materials ready to learn uh, pencils pens assignment books those kind of things and then having a good attitude about being in the classroom ready to learn uh, being good to one another being respectful being cooperative and taking turns my expectations in the classroom is that students uh, show up and are ready to learn, that they have a positive attitude, that they show respect to speakers, and they respect other students as well. Okay, when students are coming down the music hall, what I expect to see is hands to themselves, walking to their destination, and I'd like to hear conversational tones of voices. In the hallways, my expectations are that students are not screaming and yelling and walking quickly to classrooms so we're not missing the bell or tardy, that they keep their hands and feet together, and that they're ready to get to the classroom on time. Okay. Let's keep our hands to ourselves in the hallways. Uh, in the hallway this year, we focused a lot in the science hallway on kids not running down the halls, uh, especially our upperclassmen setting a good example for the sixth grade students and just being safe so everyone can get to class on time. I expect <laughs> students' voices to be at a zero to three in the hallways. Um, expectations I have in the hallway is that people are keeping their hands to their sides, they're walking on the correct side, they're using the correct um, volume, and they're not trying to jump up and touch the signs. When I'm in the, in the hallway, I expect to see students visiting with each other politely and just talking and smiling and enjoying their passing time. I think the biggest thing kids here at school that we look for as teachers is, you know, the kids respect each other, respect the staff, um, and carry themselves around school properly. They're not pushing and shoving in the halls, uh, keeping hands to themselves and things. And um, the biggest part of that is just respecting each other. And I think the more kids learn how to respect each other and respect adults, the better off they're going to get along in school and in life in general. So I think that's the biggest thing we work on, try and get kids to understand that follow directions, do what you're asked to do. You know, and if you do those things, you're going to get along pretty well.
My expectations in the lunchroom from the 6th, 7th, and 8th graders are to use their manners um, as if they were at home or out in a restaurant, pick up after themselves, um, make sure they say please, thank you, and all of the above. Hi, this is Mrs. Springfield in the West Middle School office. I was asked to give my opinion on the PBIS program. Um, we have many students that come into our office for office workers. They are very uh, good students that do a good job and that's because they are welcoming when we have a lot of parents in and out of our office. They're always here to help um, and they're quiet. They're not disruptive and also we they get engaged with their job. They make sure that their notes get delivered to the rooms. They're always looking for work. They, they, have a, they go through a process of going from room to room, so they do have to follow a safety course in case there's obstacles in the way they might fall over. And also they're very trustworthy. They have to be trustworthy because it depends on those notes reaching the rooms to the teachers for them students to get out at certain times or get to a destination, they have to know times. So we really uh, rely on our students in the office and they do a great job.